as I look these days upon the, how some people seem to want to ignore information that could benefit them greatly. Almost like the phrase um, that they would cut off their nose to spite someone else as to information that could really benefit them. It puzzles me and I've pondered. For instance, about five years ago I started looking into the term on YouTube and other of the term know-it-all. A rather derogatory term, perhaps. Uh, but what then is a know-it-all, so to speak, and how common are they? Is such a person caught in a double bind between wanting to feel that they know everything that's important to know when it comes to what I call how best to be happy in life, and yet at the same time occasionally having a bad hiccup from this or that uh, in life, especially as uh, time progresses, say after the age of 30 or so roughly, and life begins to give them skin knees, so to speak, more and more. They're then seeing a discrepancy from time to time between wanting to believe they know all, especially how best to be happy, uh, for safety reasons, basically. Feeling secure that they can handle whatever life throws at them because they, quote, know all. And yet life throws contradictions that indicates that this can't possibly be because otherwise why are they now experiencing from time to time great emotional pain or physical pain? So I see then a flip-flop going on. The person might occasionally then say, well, I need more information. I don't know all. Let's go get a self-help book. Let's try this. Let's go find a guru, a talk show host, um, a leader on some aspect that they claim to be the expert on. And yet finding this fallacious of a sort, finding that nobody knows everything, including the trained experts, as we call them, they revert back then to saying, well, I probably know better than anyone else because this makes me feel most secure. And then we have what I call a yo-yo effect back and forth of uncertainty between wanting for feelings of safety to know we know all and yet time to time events are definitely showing us that this can't be so or we wouldn't experience pain of any sort. Yet the opposite being others don't know all either. Now I like as a counter to all of that yo-yoing effect as I call it or bouncing back and forth between two polarities, dualities some might call them, to adopt what you call eclecticism or building a house brick by brick. Uh, some have said, if you want the job done right, you have to do it yourself. Others might say, I don't have the time to build it myself. Let's have someone else build it for me, either prefab or brick by brick, over a period, say, of six months or more. If one were to attend a therapy, uh, a therapist might say, oh, I'm a Freudian, or oh, I'm a Rogerian, or I practice cognitive behavioral therapy. To me, the best claim would be, I'm an eclectic. I take a little bit here, a little bit there, and what I put together then, I cobble together as my best solution. Thus, in religion, I personally call myself a mutt, in that uh, I've pulled a little bit here and there from a variety of sources to put together my views and not um, dogmatically saying that this is the answer or that is the answer or anyone has all the answers and I'm just going to download it. Now, of course, this is a much more complex, nuanced and troubling in many ways um, approach. It takes much more time and effort leaves one in a murky land there for, for an indefinite period of time until things start to gel, hopefully. That can take decades of uh, uncertainty and pain. 
but it seems to me thus um, very appropriately stated in one movie I loved no reservations about a woman in a restaurant who was very control oriented and her boss mandated that she see seek therapy in this case from an analyst in New York City and amongst other things the analyst said in the movie I liked two things he said the best therapist is the one between your two ears and he also said the best recipes are the ones you create yourself I believe as opposed to downloading it lock stock and barrel from someone we consider a trained expert or alternatively we call a guru whether on TV a book source or whatever even magazines I kind of call this being an eclectic and uh, cobbling together what we think best from a variety of sources rather than one source including one religion one guru, one talk show host, one favorite author, one viewpoint. Stated, unfortunately, I believe all too often, the term dogmatically coming to mind. Something stated with certainty as to uh, being inerrant, as to the facts, and complete, with no bad premises involved. But of course, in court, we're required to testify, aren't we, that we're telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Not just some truth with some errors mixed in, sometimes unstated. That then is my thinking then on um, why many of us might want to believe we know all, and yet uh, at other times bounce back to feeling we know nothing and wanting to turn to others to have us um, to tell us what to think and we then yo-yo back and forth because the harder solution by far and more painful included is to have to cobble together things from a variety of sources rather than one source on the outside or alternatively just ourselves by stating categorically that we know everything there is to know about how best to live life some in Europe might have called this, uh, from the German tradition, our Weltanschauung, that word starting with a W. One last caveat or comment, I would say, well, this tends not to be true in terms of claiming to be a know-it-all or uh, an expert in and of ourselves. Um, if it's in the areas of how to make more money or how to do a specific job task, then even including maybe hiring a plumber or doing electrical work, we find it more efficient to just say, well, let's get a trained expert. I even saw a license plate on the front of a car, not exactly license plate, but tiny sign where the plate goes, saying uh, to the effect that um, I fix what other people broke. And yet when it comes to the people areas of life and how best to be happy I think this is so much more complex that nobody knows all the answers and so we we are much more skeptical and then we as I call it yo-yo back and forth many of us all too often until as life progresses we accumulate more and more of what we've cobbled together I call an eclectic approach to life Maybe that's why some have said, like Dr. Romani, that she finds uh, there to be a distinct persona to those who are older sometimes uh, as to their uh, being more grown, shall we say. Um, and in fact, it could be a little derogatory statement or aggressive statement to say to someone we're struggling with to simply say, grow up uh, the meaning being perhaps that um, we want them to uh, have a better viewpoint on life as to uh, the best way to operate the best way to live but of course that doesn't happen overnight if ever sometimes those are my thoughts then on this idea 